Hi, Sharon here, clinical hypnotherapist. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's a link to our website in the description. And if you bob over to the website, you will find lots more information about my self-hypnosis CD and download for Fearful Skiers. If you're already on our website, welcome. Now you probably arrived here because, like me, you've either been on your first skiing holiday or you've had your first skiing lesson and despite everybody else seem to be able to take to it like a duck to water, your experience hasn't been that pleasant. And I just want to let you know that you are not alone. There are hundreds of people out there who find skiing absolutely terrifying despite the fact that they love the whole concept of it. The lure of the mountains is very strong. They love everything connected to skiing. Um, all the apres ski and the wonderful views and the food that you eat. Um, but there's a downside and that is that every time they go on their holiday and they put their skis on, they are absolutely terrified. And that's exactly where I was. Got the t-shirt, worn the skis. So this video is just to let you know what you can do about it. And I hope it's helpful to you. Just so that you uh, know that I know where you're coming from. I'll tell you what some of my fears were when I first started skiing after my initial instruction and I went down my first run and the things that crossed my mind on the movie that was playing in my head was I'm not going to be able to stop, I'm going too fast, I'm going to be too near an edge and drop off, I'm going to hit a patch of ice and I won't be able to control it. I'm going to hit a load of bumps and I won't be able to keep my ski straight or I'm going to get hit by somebody else because I don't know what I'm doing and all these scenarios in my mind resulted in me in my mind lying on the floor with a broken limb having to be lifted off by a helicopter uh, and taken to hospital and that was kind of where my mind went every time I got off a chairlift. Now when I explained these fears and this feeling to everybody else that was in the group lessons or people that I spoke to back at the hotel, they all said the same thing, what you need is more lessons and the more lessons you have the more confident you'll become, the more in control you'll become and then you won't feel those feelings anymore. So I took everybody's advice and I had four holidays where I joined a group. I also on top of that had about six one-to-one -one lessons and it didn't seem to matter who it was that was teaching me, where it was I was having the lessons, what the snow conditions were like. I just could not get rid of the not in my stomach, the tense muscles, feeling sick in the morning, the absolute sheer fear that used to grip me so that in some occasions it was so bad I would just take my boots off and walk down to the nearest cafe. Um, so I have to confess that from my point of view it's not all about tuition, it isn't about having yet more and more lessons because in the end, the instructors were saying to me, you know so much about the technical side of it and what you need to do and should be doing that you could actually teach it. But it didn't make any difference. Inside my head, something terrible was going to happen. And once you get into that flight or fight instinct, then everything, you just lose control of everything. It, that's, it's, an awful, it's an awful instinct which releases lots of chemicals which were designed in, in, in prehistoric times to um, help us to either fight a battle or to flee as fast as we could. And once those, that cycle starts of all those chemicals being released in your body, you've kind of lost it. You, it's too late to do anything. 
Now the idea of hypnotherapy is that it gets to the very core of where those emotions come from. It gets inside the subconscious mind and it changes that negative movie that you play to yourself. It changes those scenarios. It dampens down that instinct of flight or fight and it then reacts with the conscious mind which says it it says after after all after your hypnotherapy session it will say everything's okay stay calm you're breathing fine there's no danger you're perfectly in control you can remember all the things that you've been told to do in your lessons and you can glide off smoothly and easily and if you do meet something that you find a little difficult you will be able to conquer it and it won't bother you as much there will be times when yes you may feel nervous and that's perfectly natural but you will be in control and once you reach that stage you will find that you are smiling from ear to ear that all those fears and worries have disappeared that you feel relaxed and calm and that you are actually enjoying your skiing so much that when you've got to the bottom you can't wait to get back on that lift and get back up again and then you will be able to progress and you will experience what everybody else has been experiencing and you've been driving yourself mad over so have a go with it it's worked for lots and lots of people it worked for me I had to do it to myself to make myself conquer my fears now you'll also see on our website uh, a little bit about snow bikes um, I didn't dump skiing in favour of that what happened was was that <clears throat> my knees gave up um, about the same time that my husband also had to have knee replacement surgery and we loved being on the mountain so much I just couldn't envisage not going back each winter for that one week blast in the snow so um, we discovered these little snow bikes which is like a kid's bike that's had its wheels taken off and little skis put on and you put them on your feet little tiny skis on your feet and off you go on the mountains these are recognized all over <coughs> Austria and um, so we hire them when we get there and it's been an absolute godsend for us because it takes all the pressure off your knees and your ankles and your hips so don't give up if you can't ski for some reason if you're not physically fit enough then there's always an alternative just one tip I want to give you is to make sure that your skiing is as easy as it can be make sure that you're in the right length skis I know that the ski higher places always say that you should have them at a certain height for a certain weight and a certain skill but there are some extra short skis which are called 120s and they're made by Solomon and they're made by um, a, another maker I can't remember just now and they do have them in the hire shop but there's not very many of them and people will put you off trying to use them because they say they're not proper skis but there's a lot of people I know who would have given skiing up had they not started to use these 120s because they're much shorter, they're easier to manoeuvre and people feel more confident in them. So that's one tip. Tip number two, make sure that you have the best boots that money can buy because the fit of your boots and the comfort of your boots is absolutely imperative to being able to control your skis. So those are my two tips. Anyway, thanks very much for listening to me and I really hope that you progress and I hope that hypnotherapy sends you off on the most amazing holidays. Um, so bye for now and hope to see you on the mountains.